A bit of scrappy play. It's Haugang who've come away with it. Emi Rekka. Was he taken out? By Shazwan there. The referee took his time with the decision. And he's awarded a free kick here to Haugang. Well, a decision to make, yeah, and he made it. And he, like you said, he took a little bit of time there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a foul. For a moment, I thought uh, Amy Reka went in with his boots. Oh, uh, high gets, up. Who gets to the ball first here, though? Is it Shazwan or...? He, he did get a touch on the ball, Shazwan. But no malice intended in both sides, really. I, th I think both were going for the ball as well. Well, it's uh, Zulfami's turn to say he wants Shazwan sent <laughs> off or in trouble. And he's the one going across to the referee, just as Kapitovic was doing earlier. There is a check going on in the background. Potential dog so denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity. Let's take a look at this. It was uh, really scrappy play just before that. In that angle, he didn't touch the ball. Did it look like actually Shazwan got to the ball first? Let's take a look at it. <laughs> yeah, he just sliced it with this outside of the foot, didn't he? Tough one. I mean, yeah, in a, real time, to sort of yeah. make the decision then, it's difficult. We've had a few looks at it. It looks to me like Shazwan got to the ball first and then connected yeah. with yeah. Emireka. He, he did. And the other thing is, I, I think... Oh, he's shown the red card here. Oh, it's a red card for Shazwan. Well, on-field decision is a red card for Shazwan. Now, the VAR potentially could be stepping in to help him out here. Well, again, if you look at the replays, I think he has a, a point, Shazwan. So I'm sure this will go. To the monitor, Shazwan, to be fair. Well, look at him. You know, yeah, that is a great example yeah. he's setting, isn't it? Brilliant. You know, he's the player who's been red carded. This was the ball that was played in. Emireka gets behind the defense. The most important thing, did he get a touch? That's the most important thing. And who got there first? Yeah, he got the ball first there from that angle. Okay, so listen, I'll explain, yeah. I'll try and explain the referee's thinking behind this. Hopefully I do a good enough job. <laughs> the referee, Clarence Leao, has obviously seen in his mind that it's a foul on Emireka and it's a free kick. He was awarding a free, he awarded a free kick to Haugang. Right. And in that situation, if he's blown for a foul, he's going to send Shazwan off for dog so. Denial right. of an obvious goal scoring opportunity. Right. Because Emireka was through. Right. Now, what they have here is an opportunity to use the VAR to have a look at that and to advise the referee right. to potentially go and have an on-field review right. to change his mind. Right. And from the replays that we've seen, which uh, the referee haven't, obviously, he did get a touch on the ball, Shazwan. I think we, it was very clear, especially from that last replay from the back, especially. He got a touch on the ball, outside of the foot, got contact on the ball. And it's one of those as well that, uh, again, it happened so quickly and we, yeah. we couldn't figure out who yeah. touched the ball first, both colliding with each other. And they really both had to go for it. Yeah, obviously. Let, let's go back a little bit and talk about the football side of things. Should he have come out, Shazwan? Because it was right just, just in front of the 18-yard area. And should he have come out that far? That's the other question as well. I and mean, we're just talking about football decisions here. There we go. <laughs> We've got an on-field review. And they are going to be looking at the possibility of rescinding that red card for Shazwan. Yeah. So... Brilliant. That's what the technology is there for. The referee on field, he gets to view it in real time. That was his decision. The red card was his thinking behind it. Now VAR steps in and says, you might not have seen this, so go and have a look. Remember the VAR and the referee are communicating to each other. They're going to be asking him, what did he see? What was his view of the incident? And then they'll say, this might be a clear and obvious error. You might need to take a look at this again. Exactly. And, and listen, if if... Amy Reka was true. That, that was definitely a one-on-one a -on -one, uh, goal-scoring opportunity, a clear goal-scoring opportunity for Amy Reka. 
And if he had stayed on the line, it would be just a one-on-one -on -one situation. It is just 1v1 and Amy Reka could have put it to either side. Uh, Roshan, I think you've done a great job in explaining things to the viewers at home because that is exactly what uh, is happening. And uh, it's now up to the referee. Even here, if you just look at this again, it's... <laughs> I mean, how many times have we seen it now? That was the best angle. That's where the best he, angle, yeah, right? That was the best angle where he got the ball, uh, Shazman Buhari. And having said all that, right, what, what, what a great job Shazwan did, you know, trying to get his players out of the way. I think perhaps he, he felt that he knew that he yeah. got to the ball first. So perhaps he's thinking this is going to be yeah. changed. Let's see. <laughs> well, looks to be the case. Well done. Yep. Really well done to the team of officials.